Cement and concrete are often confused, but they are distinct products with different roles in construction. Cement is a key ingredient in concrete, alongside water and aggregate, functioning as the crucial binding material that holds these components together. The production of concrete begins with making cement, a process that involves transforming raw materials into a substance capable of solidifying and binding other elements. Understanding the journey from raw material to finished product reveals the complexity and ingenuity of cement manufacturing. There are various types of cement, with ordinary Portland cement OPC being the most widely used. This type of cement was named for its color, which resembles the stone from Portland, Dorset, England. The name not only indicates its appearance, but also signifies its widespread acceptance and reliability in construction. Cement production primarily involves limestone and clay, essential raw materials that are extracted through methods like blasting or using heavy machinery to mine from quarries. These materials, once extracted, are transported to a crushing plant where they are reduced to smaller, more manageable pieces, marking the first step in their transformation. The crushed limestone and clay are mixed in precise proportions to form a raw meal, a mixture that serves as the foundation for cement. This raw meal is then transferred to a mill, which consists of a large rotating cylinder designed to grind the materials into a fine powder. This grinding process not only enhances the chemical reactions necessary for cement production, but also ensures the uniformity of the raw meal composition. The powdered raw meal is then heated in a preheater tower, where it undergoes partial calcination. This means that some of the carbonates in the limestone decompose to form calcium oxide, or lime, a critical component in the formation of cement. The preheated and precalcined raw meal enters a rotary kiln, a long cylindrical furnace where temperatures reach around 1,450 degrees Celsius to 1,642 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the kiln, the raw materials undergo a series of complex chemical reactions and sintering processes, resulting in the formation of small, marble-sized nodules known as clinker. These nodules consist of calcium silicates, aluminates, and ferrites, essential compounds that give cement its binding properties. Once the clinker is formed, it is discharged from the kiln and cooled using air blown through it. This cooling process is crucial to maintain the quality of the clinker and prevent the formation of undesirable crystal structures. The cooled clinker is then ground with gypsum and other additives such as fly ash, slag, or pozzolana in cement mills to produce a fine powder. Gypsum is added to control the setting time of the cement, ensuring it hardens at a manageable rate. This fine powder, once tested and approved, becomes the finished cement ready for use. The entire production process is closely monitored with frequent chemical and physical tests conducted by cement plant laboratories to ensure that each batch complies with industry specifications. This rigorous testing guarantees that the cement produced will perform reliably in construction projects. Aggregates, which constitute up to 75% of concrete by volume, are the next essential components sourced for concrete production. Aggregates include gravel and sand, materials that are carefully selected to fill the spaces between larger particles, providing stronger bonding and consistency to the concrete mix. The inclusion of well-graded aggregates, a balanced mixture of coarse and fine particles, reduces the amount of cement required, making the process more cost-effective and environmentally friendly. This careful selection and grading of aggregates are crucial for achieving the desired properties in the final concrete product. Admixtures, chemical additives mixed into the concrete, offer a range of advantages that enhance the properties of the final product. These chemicals include plasticizers, which improve the workability of the concrete, allowing it to be easily molded and placed without segregation or excessive bleeding of water. This is particularly important for complex structures and tight spaces. Accelerators and retarders adjust the setting time of the concrete, enabling it to harden more quickly or slowly as needed for different construction conditions. Other admixtures can increase the tensile strength of concrete, compensating for its natural tendency to crack under tension. Additionally, fibers made of materials like stainless steel, glass, and carbon can be added to further strengthen the concrete, providing additional resilience and durability. The production of concrete begins by carefully measuring the proportions of cement, aggregates, admixtures, and water based on the desired strength and characteristics of the final product. 
Concrete mix design is a specialized discipline dedicated to determining these proportions to achieve a specific target tensile strength and performance criteria. Building codes and standards provide guidelines on the appropriate ratios of cement, aggregate, and water for different types of construction projects. This ensures that the concrete produced meets the necessary safety and durability requirements for its intended use. Thorough mixing of the ingredients is essential to create a uniform mixture. Traditionally, this was done manually using shovels on a flat surface, such as a concrete slab. However, modern concrete production often employs concrete mixers, which automate and speed up the process. These mixers ensure that the ingredients are evenly distributed and thoroughly combined, resulting in a consistent and homogeneous mixture. During this mixing process, water is gradually added to the dry ingredients, forming a paste known as cement paste. This paste undergoes a hydration process, generating heat and gradually increasing the strength and durability of the concrete over time. Once the concrete reaches the desired consistency, it is transported and placed in its final location. This can be done by pouring it directly into formwork molds or by using specialized equipment, such as pumps or conveyors. During placement, it is crucial to avoid segregation of the coarse aggregates from the rest of the mixture. Proper placement techniques ensure that the concrete fills the molds uniformly without creating voids or weak spots. After placement, the concrete needs to be properly compacted to eliminate any air pockets or voids. Compaction is typically achieved using vibrators or mechanical methods such as tamping or rolling. This process ensures that the concrete is dense and has good strength and durability. Proper compaction also helps in achieving a smooth surface finish and reduces the risk of surface defects. Curing is the process of maintaining adequate moisture and temperature conditions to allow the cement to hydrate and gain strength gradually. This typically involves keeping the concrete damp or covering it with curing membranes, blankets, or plastic sheets. Curing can last for several days or weeks depending on the type of concrete and the desired strength. Proper curing is crucial for the long-term performance and durability of the concrete as it prevents premature drying and cracking. Once the concrete has cured sufficiently, various finishing techniques can be applied to achieve the desired surface texture and appearance. These techniques can include smoothing, leveling, troweling, or applying decorative finishes. The versatility of cement and concrete allows for a wide range of applications and finishes, making them the most widely used construction materials. In the United States alone, over $4 billion worth of hydraulic cement, a type that hardens underwater, is produced annually for use in $20 billion worth of concrete construction projects. Globally, the concrete industry is estimated to be worth over $600 billion, highlighting its immense economic impact and importance in the construction sector. If you enjoyed learning about the cement manufacturing process, please like this video and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this and click on the video on the screen to watch the incredible process of how chocolate is made. Thank you for your time and interest.